variable that contain a collection of objects. Lists are also known as arrays in other computer programming language contexts. For example, you might store a list of distances that will be used for determining travel time, as seen in this code example. In this example, note how there is a variable called distances, then an equal sign, and then a bracket containing three items within the list that are separated by commas, followed by a closing bracket. Now items within a list are referred to by their index position. In the bottom of this image, you see a string variable called myMap that's been assigned to the string Mafrock Jordan. Below that, you see myMap, then bracket, and then zero is equal to M. This means that the very first character in that string is the letter M. Note that a very basic concept in computer programming languages is that you count starting at zero. And we'll demonstrate this concept now in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, let me give you a quick example of using a list. And again, I'll use the field calculator for this. Now in this buildings feature class or shapefile that we looked at, I have an attribute column called buildings. And what this is identifying, whether it's a building or not. And let's say hypothetically, I just want to get the first character of whatever value is in this field. Some of them are, most of them are going to be Y for yes, some are for garages and so forth. But what I'm going to do is use a, the list aspect of this to get the first character. So to set this up, I'm going to go add a new field. And I'm going to call it sub name for sort of the sub or the a part of the overall whole. And I'll make that a text. And just like you saw me do before, we'll bring the field calculator up. So I'm going to go to my new column, right click and do calculate field. And this is really straightforward. What you're going to do here now, I'm going to tell it put into the subname field the very first character that you find in the field building. Now remember with indexes and lists, you want to start with zero. So if this works correctly, most of these, I should see the letter Y appear in this field here. In this one, garages, I should, should see a G. And let's make sure it's valid and run it. And it runs pretty quick. And again, using like the word yes as an example, zero, one, two, there's three characters. So I'm telling it I want the first sub character within it. Now, if I can modify this just for demonstration, if I put a one in there, I should see the letter E go into the, the sub name column or the letter A in garages. So that's a quick example of using lists. And just remember, you, you can use the index position of whatever element is in the list, whether it is a list of characters inside of a string, a dictionary, and so forth. And you'll find that using lists will be a powerful way to iterate through collections and store data. Another important idea in computer programming is the idea of conditional statements. This is the idea where values are determined for true or false values based on what are known as if-then-else statements. Based on the condition found, a decision can be made as to how the program will proceed or the action it will take. In this code example, a conditional statement is being used to check if the value of 1 is less than the value of 2. Since this statement evaluates as true, the line that immediately follows the true statement will be run 
as seen in this example, where the statement true, one is less than two, gets printed to the command line. If the expression evaluates as false, then this statement, false, one is more, gets printed to the command line. You will frequently find use of conditional statements in your code to check conditions. Now, before I show you a demonstration of conditional statements using ArcGIS Pro, I thought it would be useful to actually introduce the idea of functions. And I'll give you an example of using a function with conditional statements in just a moment. So what is a function? You can think of a function as a small mini program that does something. And the key idea with a function is that it can receive arguments or sometimes known as parameters and then it sends back values. So let me walk you through a function I created to demonstrate the concept. So here you see a function that would do addition. The function is really only two lines. You start a definition of a function using the word DEF, the name of the function, and then the two input parameters or arguments. So in this case, a simple addition function will take two inputs, add them together, and then send them back. So how this would work in practice, let's say you had two variables, one called my salary and the other called my tips. And then you send those variables into the function as seen here. So those two values, in this case 1,000 and 500, get sent into the function called addition. They get added together and then they're returned back into a variable called result. And that's the key idea that sometimes functions return values back and you can use those values depending on what your tasks are. And this is something you'll find in several places inside of ArcGIS Pro that I'll now demonstrate.